How's it going everybody? David here with solopowermyrv.com and today I just want to give you guys a quick tour of this solar system that we just installed on this Airstream Globetrotter. So starting on the roof, we installed six of these 100 watt rich solar panels for a total of 600 watts of solar. So the basic rule for Airstreams with solar is put as many panels as you can fit because the roof space is limited and they're at an angle so you wanna just basically fill it up as max as possible. And if you still need more solar than that, we also do a lot of portable panels as you can see here. And a lot of times we can use the old roof panels for portable panels and just install new roof panels. So moving to the front here, this is where we installed the 3000 watt inverter in this front bay here. And this was the best space we had for it with this particular layout. So this is hooked up so it can power everything in the RV from the batteries, like all of your outlets, your microwave, your air conditioner, fridge, everything that you would be able to power on shore power, you can power here with this uh, inverter, or it's wired to. And if you look here, this is where the old batteries were. So we took those out and we moved all the wiring to the inside where the new batteries are. And then we also have a portable plug here because we took the roof panels off basically. And then we, have a splitter here so you can put two of those 90 watt panels from the roof as portables now. So moving on to the batteries, if you look in this side compartment here, we got four of these 100 amp hour rich solar lithium batteries for a total of 400 amp hours. A lot of people want to know how many batteries do they need? And the answer is depends on what size inverter you have. So if you have a 2000 watt inverter, you need at least two of these batteries. And if you have a 3000 watt inverter, you need at least three. Any more than that just depends on your budget and what space you have available. So moving on to the inside, you can see this is a front double bunk layout here. You got a bed on each side. And if you look here, this is where the old inverter monitor was that, they, that the, it came with. So we took it out and we installed this Serbo GX Touch 50 touchscreen monitor here. This is the optional upgrade for the inverter. And this is gonna tell you basically everything that's going on with your system. You can also connect it to the internet and monitor your system remotely. And then this is for the portable array here. This was the original that came with the RV. So we hooked it up so it monitors just the portable array. So moving on to the back here, you can see this model has one of these 12 volt fridges. And if you plan on getting solar and lithium batteries, you definitely want to get the 12 volt fridge. These are really efficient. They don't draw much power and they work great. So moving to the back here, this is the front double bunk layout. So there's a bed on each side here. And we tried to conserve as much space on the inside for the customer. So we basically, we have the batteries in the, this little outside compartment and this little compartment's where we have the solar controller and the DC to DC charger. So this is gonna be hidden once he puts the bed down so you won't really be able to see this and you don't really need to have access to this unless there's a problem. So we have a 50 amp controller for the roof and then we have a DC to DC 30 amp alternator charger, which is optional upgrade. This is great. If you uh, have limited solar, you can always charge from the alternator real fast. It's gonna charge a lot faster with a DC to DC charger <clears throat> versus the tow pin. So we'll go ahead and test it out here with the inverter. See if the air conditioner will kick on for us. So we're turning on here and then we'll look at our monitor as a test. And what you wanna look at basically is the AC loads. You see here it says AC loads and then See, it's about 600, 500 watts, 300. That's the fan on the air conditioner kicking on. So first you'll see the fan pull about three to 500 watts. And then you'll know the compressor kicked on when you see it jump up to over a thousand. So you can see here, this air conditioner is pulling about 1500 watts. So if you look at the battery monitor to the bottom left, it's pulling negative 137 amps per hour. So you got a 400 amp hour battery bank and you're pulling about say 138, 140 an hour. And what's cool about this system is you can go to the settings and you can look at the time remaining you have left on battery power. So we're just in the shop here with no solar running the air conditioner on battery. 
And if we go to our menu and we click our BMV battery monitor, it'll tell us here how much time we have left remaining on battery. So it says time to go. And it says three hours and 39 minutes. So it'll constantly calculate, you know, whatever you're using versus the solar that's coming in and give you some time remaining on your battery. So that's very important to watch out for. And it's nice to have. What's cool about this system is you can hook it up to the internet and you can monitor your system online from anywhere in the world. We also have this hooked up so that we, the technician and the installer can actually monitor the system as well. So if you have any issues out in the field, if you're in Alaska or a thousand miles away and you have internet, we can actually jump on your system and see what's going on and help you out if you have any troubleshooting issues. So when you're ready to solar power your RV, Make sure to visit us at solarpowermyrv.com so we can give you a free quote for your RV. We're conveniently located in Denver, Colorado, right off of Interstate 25 at the Rocky Mountain National Park exit. We specialize in high quality installations and quick turnaround times, with most installations being completed within one to two days.